Hi guys, so today I'm going to be going over the solution for cracking the coding interview, question 1-2. It is chapter 1, question 2, check permutation. So given two strings, write a method to decide if one is a permutation of the other. So I've already written down my IOCE so we can determine the input output constraints and edge cases. Our input is going to be two strings, our output is going to be either true or false, so a boolean value, and our constraints are basically to optimize, so no constraints, so I'll say optimize, and then our edge cases, um, probably empty string, or different lengths, okay. So I've already set up the function here and it is going to be using ES6 JavaScript and I have set up some test cases. Okay, so we just want to make sure our function is robust and all of these cases will pass. So now we'll want to come up with a plan of action. So we'll write some pseudocode. We know that if the two strings have different lengths, then we will automatically return false. So we have different lengths and uh, automatically return false. What else? One way to do this is to sort both strings and then to compare them to one another. However, the runtime for that would be n log n. So it wouldn't be the most efficient. We want to optimize and be able to do this in linear time. So I'll just say one way would be to sort both strings and compare. This will be n log n run of n log n. So not the most efficient. And then to optimize, we what we could do is use a hash table and make map one of the strings out and then use the second string to check against the first one. So if we see any differences, then we can just return false. So uh, we can... Make a map of one string and check the second string against the first one. Okay, so let hash equals object because in JavaScript every object is a hash table. It has a one lookup time. And then if the two strings have different lengths, uh, one dot length is not equal to s two dot length, then we'll automatically return false. And then, so we'll want to traverse the first string and fill up our hash table. So we'll write a for loop equal to zero long as i is less than s1 dot length then i increment i and we're going to let c equals the character um, at i and then if that character is in our hash then we're going to just um, increase the count of that character. So to do that, we'll just so the hash at z plus plus increments the the count of that character, and then otherwise we will store that. So we'll store it as one because otherwise it is the first time we're encountering that character 
It's not in our hash table yet, so we'll store it as one. So when we finish that for loop, we'll have a map of that word stored in, uh, in the hash table. So now we'll loop through our second string. So, and we can use the same variable i again because in ES6, let is block scoped instead of function scooped. So s2 dot length. Okay. Now we're going to reference our same hash and we're going to check. So let's see, equal to, again, s2 at character i, we're going to check if it is in our hash already, if this character is already in our hash, and this character at our hash is not equal to zero because we have to account for the case that after we've subtracted from this it might be zero then we will subtract otherwise we'll return false so what we've done here is here we store our first word into our hash and then now we're looking at the hash because if they are indeed permutations of one another, it should be exactly the same hash. So we will go ahead and start removing that character from our hash so that if it's no longer in our hash, if we do find a character that's not in the hash, then we'll return false. Or if that character has reached zero and we're still trying to subtract from it, then basically in this case, there's an extra B. Here there's two Bs. So really the hash for that should say B to A2. And if we encounter an extra B and in the hash B is now zero, because we removed two Bs already, then it's going to still return false. Now, once we've reached the end and we haven't returned false yet, because this false will return out of the function, then we can return true. Okay, now we can check by building and we can see that all of our test cases do pass. So for our runtime, our time complexity, because we are going through the first string once, it, it is gonna be linear and we're also going through the second string once. So it's really O of two N, which is still just linear. The space complexity is O of N because we're only storing one word and so it is linear. And there we have it. This is the solution for check permutation. If you guys have any questions or a better solution, please let me know. Thank you.